Here's a little free bonus coverage for you on this texture extraction tutorial. One of the details I glossed over was exactly what the right resolution was for the texture map that we're extracting. And here we see the texture map being displayed that we figured, but and, you know, and it looks good, but there's no assurance that we've really got the right one-to-one -one pixel aspect ratio that we might like to have if we wanted to print it out or use it for something where we weren't actually applying it onto the geometry. If we're applying this texture map onto the geometry, it's going to come out okay. But here, if we want to know the actual pixel aspect ratio, and even if we want to make sure that we're taking most advantage of the uh, texture map space that we have, getting a pixel aspect ratio around 1 to 1 is a good idea. So there's actually a little tool that I've created that's a script in Synthize to help you figure that out. So the way that it works is that it, it needs to take a look at one of the triangles in your mesh. So we need to uh, set a, an edit mesh that the uh, mesh that we're worried about as a uh, edit mesh and then we're just going to select one of the facets on that and this little script is going to compute what the basically the dots per inch is, it's really the dots per synthized units is for that particular triangle. Now for a nice regular sort of mesh that's been generated um, for a plane or a cylinder or something like that basically those dot per inch numbers are going to be the same for all the different triangles. For a more complex mesh like a sphere or a uh, teapot or something that you've generated, uh, the different triangles will have a different dot per inch resolution. So uh, you can at least go around to different places and different triangles and look and see what the effective resolution is at those different locations. So let's take a look and our script here is calculate texture dots per inch. So here are the results here. It's saying the uh, in the horizontal direction of our texture map, we're running at uh, a little under 46 uh, dots per inch. Uh, that's pixels per inch. And uh, in the vertical direction, we're running at about 65 dots per inch. So our pixel aspect ratio is 1.4. The pixels are actually a bit wider than their high. And the script is giving us another set of numbers here that say what resolution we can change the texture to in order to make those pixels come out as, as square. So we can go and do that uh, here. So it's like 11680, call it. And we can just enter those numbers here. And now we can go and rerun the calculation using those particular values. And we'll fire that up. And again, we're going to have a little delay here while that calculates. And now we're back. Just as a sanity check, we'll point out what happens if we do the same calculation again. Now you see that the resolution is about the 65 dots per inch in both per unit in both directions, the pixel aspect around one. So that's good. And here is our new result. As you can see, it's even a uh, a skinnier, you know, wider aspect ratio than we had before. And this does have the true one to one pixels. So this is really what we were seeing when this was actually filmed. Enjoy.